on the table, Fortnite is back with the vault. What, what is, is inside, inside the, the vault? vault? Midas must know. Hey everyone, this is Dan. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede. And today, Jazzwares Fortnite 4 inch scale the vault with Midas and Jules. This full collectible set comes with a variety of interesting things that will be really fun to discover as we figure out how to break into this sturdy mechanical steel plastic vault. The 4 inch scale action figure from Jazzware is still my favorite. We were actually going to go with the new smaller scale today, but I wanted to look around for a couple more as I just don't have enough to really show yet. They're pretty fantastic, but I love the 4 inch line. It is just the most longest running, funnest Fortnite series that I think is out there. So let's figure out this complicated key code, turn and spin this wheel open and find out what is inside the vault and hopefully we won't get any squirrel arms. Squirrel Stampede! Please squirrel and squirrel live! Okay, we are up front at Midas's vault and it looks highly secured. What do you think, Barry? How are those controls looking? Hi, Tech. Yeah, I'm not sure how we are supposed to get in here. It looks tightly sealed. Bah, who cares? What if there's acorns back there, big gray squirrel? Acorns? Well, it appears that big gray squirrel has just compromised the vault. I think we should get in the legal way. What do you think? Ah, there we go. Midas has the key card. This way we can get inside all professional-like. So now I ask you, what first will we find in Midas's vault? We've got our key card, we enter it into this little data pad right here, and... The doorway opens in and we find... Bookshelves? Yeah, believe me, I was totally unimpressed. So, to start off the vault room, we have bookshelves two of them, and they are a special kind of bookshelves because these bookshelves hold bookshelves. That's right, we have just found two bookshelves that hold bookshelves. Very nice little scenery touches, and totally unexpected. And the vault door has closed up. What? Guess we have to go in again. Let's get that key card and see what else we can find inside the vault. We have found a Chaos Agent crate container with gold vacuum plated weapons. Is this a classic drum gun? A couple of them. Look at that. Very nice. And a grappler. Like to see those. Hey, I wonder. Maybe that's what's also supposed to fit on these bookshelves inside the vault. Oh no! The vault closed again. Well, what else is inside there? Let's get to our access card once again, and we enter in here at the data port. A supply drop crate. What is in this one? Gots to say, a very interesting vault so far. More weapons. Translucent. Is that a nice legendary minigun? Very nicely done. Rocket launcher. And a couple others, a blue and a green. Oh, dropping on the ground there. I get so nervous opening vaults. And it shut again. Accessing key card. I think I see a, a slurp barrel back there. We've got one slurp barrel and oh, there's another one over here inside the vault. I guess I could take these. And the vault has once again closed. Let's open back up. Jules, why is Jules now inside the vault? So the two 4-inch figures included with the vault would be Shadow Jewels and a somewhat dressed up Midas. Have we seen a Shadow Jewels before? I swear we have. Or something with Jewels. It's been a while though. I always like the use of tattooing on her arms. Looks fantastic on the figure. The gear around her belt, knee pads, and a terrific looking face mask. Midas also looking somewhat casual without a jacket with golden guns, golden hands. Nice suit look to him. Although a little bit tricky to stand with those wingtip shoes, still, after all these years, that's always been the one tricky part of Jazzwares figures is those ankles sometimes bending so much one way you have a difficult time standing them. 
but they're very nice figures, full of articulation as always. I believe this scale has always been my favorite in the Fortnite collecting of scale. We've got rotation shoulders, elbows, wrists, head, there's torso, there's even a lower waist, plenty of spots, hips, even up a rotation on the hip there, knees double jointed, and again the ankles. The only part of the jointing system that I don't like are these ankles, but everything else, always so well done with these and a lot of fun to play with. And nicely painted too. Even Midas has nice artwork going through his arms. There's definitely a little more detail to these action figures than you see with most other figures of this scale. Look at again, Jules' arm. How do you say Jules in plural? Jules' Jules's, Jules' uh, arms there, they look fantastic. Look at the gear work. The line art on these are so precise. Really interesting, I wonder how they get that done so detailed like. So that is the vault playset from Jazzwares, pretty fun. Love that solid door mechanism with access card. Although I think I just pulled the door too far. There we go. You know if the light stays on, you've gone too far. So it comes with these great fancy bookshelves. Two fancy bookshelves. I see four translucent weapons and three golden weapons. And then what do we have here? It's a light up security turret which I'm pretty sure Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel has now taken ownership of. Pretty fun, it's got a little light up LED inside, although very hard to see. Let's turn the lights down, try it now. There, it's a little bit dim. I'm not entirely sure I got the right batteries to this. Uh, batteries were sold separately. You have to install for both this turret and for the door here. Pretty in easy installation, but always hard to find the exact match. I'm wondering if they're just not powerful enough because I'm not getting too much of a bright light there. The green light on the vault though is pretty strong. Oh, and the slurp barrels too, and that great breakaway wall over here too smash into the vault and you can see the walls of the vault are built with those great Jazzwares Fortnite tiles so that if you want to continue on with the wall or build up around this you certainly can. So a really fun playset option. I thought it was totally worth picking up and checking out today. Well I think there actually may be a few more surprises in the vault so let's open up a few more times. Maybe clear out some room really quick, place these beautiful bookshelves somewhere fancy. So the next find inside the vault is kind of jammed why it is the shark henchman. I think Midas needs some slurp energy here. So a few various solo mode Fortnite figures here from Jazzwares series 15. Oh I like how they finally put something there a little more accurate. Number 155, that's pretty nice. Shark henchman. I thought this was a great looking figure and is out. Who can say no to shark themed character skins? I like how up top he's kind of professional and down below he's swimming and still also has those wingtip shoes. He wields the Chomp Jr. harvesting tool, a shark on a spear it looks to be. Never really played or used this skin before, it's just awesome. Nicely painted too with a shark on the spear. Vibrant shirt. Look at that mask he's wearing, that is creepy. Look at the teeth. I would not want to meet up with this guy in an alley full of chum. So definitely a fun find in a legendary color box. I'm not sure if that means super rare or not. A good one to look for. Oh, the vault is closed again. Is this bit getting old yet? Let's get our card in. At least this functions incredibly easy. Ooh, something else. Over the top. It's a Raz. Raz Glyph Master Solo Mode Series 17 164. Just recently found this one. So this one is pretty much top of the line, I believe, front of the group. We're seeing such a sporadic drop of these now. It's really tricky to find what is completely new and what is unis new. Raz Glyph Master on a mission to uncover the Spire secrets. But these side numbers, super helpful now. I really like how they finally helped us out there. Let's get Raz out. Is it Raz or Raz? Probably Raz. No, Raz. Help me out there. Although I truly believe everybody needs a Star Wars name where you can say it two different ways. Very nice looking figure. 
Another very surprisingly detailed figure for a four inch scale line. What would you call Roz's harvesting tool? I don't know the name on that. Looks like almost something Drift once carried. Glyphs going across his upper torso with a very fancy belt. A Roz mask off to the side here and it is un attachable it stays put you won't be able to use that on his face unfortunately introduced in the season six battle pass a student of the spire however if you want the glowing purple variant you're going to have to do some things what i like about this action figure is it is way certainly different than most of the others and that's what makes collecting fortnite toys and skins so fun because you're always seeing something radically different than the others and will stand out well in a collection of figures. So the Glyph Master Series 17 to keep a lookout for. And the vault is closed again. Who else will we find? I swear I see something now peeking out behind the vault, jamming up the door. It is a yonder solid gold. I'm thinking Midas has something to do with this one. What do we have? Series 19? I, we just had Series 17? We keep leveling up Series. This is 184. Yonder solid gold party like there's no tomorrow. Opening up. I just looked around for the first version of Yonder to compare, but I could not locate. But I'm pretty sure this is a just a repaint, but a very nice and shiny goldy repaint. Look at the way... This back coat shines and shimmers in the light and you can see the little level bars here on the side there. That looks just terrific. What a fantastic looking effect. Almost has like a Darth Vader-esque llama mask, doesn't it? That is so terrific with the golden crown. This one would be really fun to mash up with your Star Wars collections. And we've got our harvesting tool here also in gold. What a figure. Maybe, probably, great articulation, except for these shoulder pads might inhibit a little bit of stretch on those arms, but overall, they do so well with these. And the vault closes again. I wonder what we could find next. I like how I'm getting slightly lazy and things are appearing now. What do we have? Oh, there it goes. The Paradium. Very interesting. Number series 15. Okay, we went back in time a little bit, and I think I did pick this one up early December. 2021, number 154. The Paradium, her allegiance is unknown. One of the seven. So a super awesome figure to look for. How many of the seven do we have now? Two or three, maybe? I'm getting my seven mixed up. Also found a sludge somewhere in red, kind of like a repaint. There's a shark henchman of the series. I don't think I found Contract Giller or fade. It's getting so tricky the way these are dropped. All right, let's see what she looks like out. Oh no, tragedy. It finally happened. One of those difficult ankle joints that I've just spoken of has finally snapped. This is finally a first to have one of these break. Get her on a display stand. Stat, that is funny. I've always wondered if I'd ever break an ankle. That one just snapped so easily. They're very frustrating. It's funny. I was just going to say after opening her Wow, these ankles are moving really well. Uh, this one was snapping, moving so nice and loose for standing, and then when I went to this one, it just popped it. Not so strong of the seven, are they? Besides the breakage, and I hope yours doesn't break, and I'm sure if it did happen, just grab your receipt and return to the store and, and switch it out. It's just kind of, it happens with toys, especially with articulation that is so, so tight. I mean, to get such wonderful articulated figures, sometimes you're just going to have breakage, so you kind of got to live with that. But up close, a fantastic figure. I'm really liking this harvesting tool. Look at the way it shimmers, the way they've got the pink and the blue and the green transparent, translucent, gradient, gradient is the word I'm looking for, running through it. That looks so good. And a nice mask headpiece on her and a great looking suit. I could possibly repair her, but I may just do a store exchange like I was just saying. So tragedy struck the paradium, but it has been a great figure to look at. And thankful for these older display stands to place her up on. Anybody need a foot or a hand? And the Vaulteth closes us again. Us. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Jonesy's next? I think Jonesy's probably next. Opening up our final figure, I think, of the day. In the vault, we've got Agent Jones. 
It's always a thrill looking for all the different versions of Jonesy out there. This is series 17, 163. Oh, these numbers, uh, they're impossible to follow right now. Agent Jones, look sharp, we're saving reality. And there's the Atlantean fish stick I've seen before once. I'd love to find a man cake or even this version of Peely, also a fun one to over collect with. Let's get Agent Jones out. I know I've seen the cinematic with this guy, it's just been quite a long time. He's got the, oh, just tell me in the comments what he's holding onto so I don't just completely butcher it. But we've got a great, fantastic Jonesy figure in a suit. I mean, that's just terrific. When I, back in the day, was a G.I. Joe fan, if you had, like, Hawk or Duke or someone in a civilian suit, how awesome would that have been? And then now for Jonesy here in the Fortnite series, you got a suit, and that's just Awesome. He can go on date night or be an agent. Okay, he can be an agent. That seems a little more dangerous. And the jacket doesn't really inhibit too much uh, articulation. You know, you can still do everything you want to do with these figures. So another fantastic figure of Jonesy out there to look for. There's so many always dropping. All right, there certainly can't be anything else in the vault, right? Well, that's where you're wrong, Dan, because inside the vault, the final prize is for you. It's for me? Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I gotta see what's inside. Something for me in the vault? What's in the vault? What's in the vault? Oh my gosh! It's a brand new car! Ah, how did that get in there? Or even fit out of the door in any logical manner? We have just found the bear truck with a little bit of tape on the side, packaging tape. Well, what a finish. It's the bear. This is fantastic. I think it even has lights on this thing. It does. It has LED headlamps. And also just a capacity for a ton of figures. I think you could possibly fit three up front, maybe even four. And on the back here, there's posts for more. A storage chest there. Look at this awesome OG bear. And to drive the bear, look who is here. Party Trooper is here. Wow, Party Trooper is throwing it down. He's got a great rhythm going. It's exciting to see if he could just slow down for a second to take a look at. Ah, there he is, Party Trooper, along with the bear for driving about and partying through town. Look at the great skeleton line work going around the suit skin. He's got great little faceplate with the X and the heart and a bat that is on fire harvesting tool. And I don't think Midas and Jules ever thought the calamity that would happen in front of the vault today. That got intense. That was a lot of things inside the vault. And all the solo mode figures are dropping everywhere, anywhere. It's really always a challenge to find them. Oh, it looks like the squirrels have just got up onto the bear and are driving away. Ha. Anyhow, Hopefully in a little bit we will get to that smaller scale line of Fortnite figures as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a squike, a squirrelib, and a squamet. Let us know your favorite new Fortnite solo mode figure or the vault. What did you think was inside? Thanks again for watching. That's what I have to say about that.